Simple. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Wise Man White again at the Tech Temple. And you can see I'm, uh, got my Nexus 4G here, and not running gingerbread, but I'm running ice cream. Um, as you saw before, uh, I've tried ROM, I've tried a uh, uh, King ROM, I've tried a AOSP ROM. But I think I finally found one that I'm gonna be working with for a while. And this one is a, uh, I think it's called the Android Open Source Project. I'll put a link uh, right down there in the notes if you want to check it out and download it for yourself and see what it's like. But I'm not going to go in depth into ice cream sandwich because if you checked out my other videos, as you've been following as you should, and you'll see that I went in depth and showed you the keyboard, showed you what the Gmail app looks like, the calendar app looks like, how the new menus look. I showed you all that. So go check that out. I'll put a link right here. That way you don't have to uh, go find them yourself. Just click the link in the video. But what I am going to do is go in depth about the new this uh, ROM that I have. So right off the bat, as you can see, instead of just having Normally the camera would be on the left and the slide screen would be on the right and that's all you would have. But in this version, you can go up straight to your MMS, uh, your SMS text messaging. You can make a call. You can go to the camera or you can unlock it. I'll just show you the, how fast it goes to the camera real quick. Just so you can see how fast it goes. I'm already in the camera app and if you don't, you're done, you just press back and you're out of it. So that's what's real nice. Uh, what's also nice um, is that they, uh, I'll show you some of the settings real quick system settings um, just to show you what I am running I'm running version 15 as you can see I'm running version 15 and uh, that it says right there and I'm also running the matrix kernel version 14 not 14.5 with the matrix kernel when it was you to do it makes sure that you get notification lights you can change the, you can make the colors richer on your actual screen that's what I'm running and that's why uh, I got really really good battery life on this thing normally like when I tried out other ROMs and I've had to charge this thing like way early in the morning when I get to work at like 6.30 or 7 and then by by lunchtime like my battery is like 30 percent but this one like my battery is real real cool so for the fact that the battery alone is real nice like you should try this ROM out but also to add it to this ROM uh, so let me show you what they have right there it looks normal, right? You got your settings. Normally, you tap that and it takes you. Now, normally, when you tap that, this is what uh, Ice Cream Sandwich does. It takes you to system settings. It does. It takes you there. But what this thing does is, you tap the setting, and bam. So instead of going to the settings and turning all this stuff on and off, or as you can see, you got Wi-Fi, you got silent data, rotate, Bluetooth, and GPS. So you can turn that all on and off right now and also the brightness so if I want to turn off auto brightness right there I just hit it off and if I want to go brighter I just do that if I want to go dimmer I just do that and turn auto brightness back on now auto brightness is back on so that's really really nice that you can do all that from there now if you want to get to the actual other settings and I do this all you do is hold it and it takes you straight to the settings now you can also do it backwards let me go back and show you how to do that um, the toggle layout. The toggle layout. I have my own text only. That way, I don't, I don't see any icons or anything. But if I just want icons, you hit that. And what Ice Cream Sandwich has done is instead of making everything like using these menu buttons, they tried to make everything you slide and you, or you press and you just know. So I just turned buttons on. And so now. Uh, I took the text off, and you don't see the text on or at anything. I don't know why you would want to do that, unless you have the, uh, you don't like it. But here's all the options that you have from there. Rotate, Bluetooth, GPS, uh, LTE, um, data, Wi-Fi, airplane mode. Those are vibrate and silent. So those are all the options you have in the uh, quick notification bar. Let me put uh, I text only. And you can change the brightness if you want that the brightness bar that I showed you, the slider. If you um, want on the top, so as I showed you before, mine was on the on the top on the bottom, but now mine's on the top. Well, I don't want mine that way, but I was just showing you that you can change it. Let me go back on the bottom. So that's cool. 
and alternate toggles, use toggle buttons instead of switches. So like I was saying, ice cream sandwich uses switches or things sliding. Now you see I have sliding. So now if I want Wi-Fi on and off, if I want silent on, I just switch it on. If I want silent off, I just switch it off. So that's real cool too. I, actually, I think I might just leave it like this for a while. I'll show you some other ROM things in here. Um, the general UI. The CRT off animation, which means like if I kind of looks like the TV. If I don't do that, it'll just shut off like plain. But if I do leave it on, you'll see like the old school TV style. You can see I would just shut off that way. Um, IME switcher. Uh, that means like let's say when I go text somebody, let's say. Uh, I want to write a new text, make sure nothing's showing on here. If I want to do a new text, as you can see, like when you have a box, um, you're in, when you're in the text field, you'll see this little icon come up. If you don't have that, if you don't have this thing enabled, otherwise you'll have to go back into the settings and change it. But now that I have the option enabled, when I'm in the text field like this, all I have to do is go down, hit select input method, and I can change everything from right there. So I'm going to go ahead and use my trusty Smart Keyboard Pro. So that's that. That's that option. And uh, app switch real, real fast. I'm going to go back to the settings that I was talking about. You see how fast that switched. Custom carry label. Um, hold back the kill. So normally in Android, when you press the back button down here, it just goes back, back, back in the, in the increment steps that you went through. If you have this killed, if you press back, it'll just kill the app if you have this option checked. And one thing that I really, really, really like is the rotation delay. So if you look at, uh, I know I was watching Android, uh, Aaron on Phone Dog, and he didn't like the way that it took forever to rotate. But what you can do in this ROM, you can set the delay, like how much of a delay you want. So I got one on 100 right now. If I got it on 10 milliseconds, it rotates a lot faster. But I put mine back on 100. And you can tell there's a little more of a delay. And why would you want to delay? You want to delay so let's say like you're in bed um, and sometimes you know you're in bed you don't exactly hold the phone straight you might hold it at an angle. Well if you have it if you have this delay at 10 it's going to switch right away as soon as you make that little you know little switch. But at least if you have it at a higher delay it gives you more time uh, to put your phone straight and that way it's not going into portrait and landscape back and forth the way you don't want it to. So that's a really, really, really nice feature that they have in this ROM. Lock screen options, I already showed you that. Wait to lock screen, so sometimes you might want to... The default is to turn the screen off, and when you turn it back on, it automatically has locked. If you check this, then your screen won't lock, and you'll just turn it on and turn it back off. Normal. And you don't have to worry about using all that, uh, unlocking all that stuff. Um, power menu setting, show a screenshot, and show power saver. What power saver does is, I, I think, I believe it goes into a deep sleep and it say it uh, makes your battery last longer. But right now, that only works for GSM model phones. And since we're, I'm on Sprint, I have uh, CDMA, so it doesn't work. But show a screenshot. When they mean power menu settings, they mean what shows when you hold the off button. So I don't have screenshot on because if I want to take a screenshot, I just do this and I take a screenshot like that. So as you can see, it's got the ice cream sandwich sounds. Let me just get rid of it. You can swipe the notification away still. Like I said, there's the power saver menu option. And this is what happens. It lets you know right away that, hey, like, if if you, warning, don't do this. Like, you can try it, but it might boo loop you and you might get stuck. If So I'll just return the safety on and mess with it. LED options. If you want the pulse. I think that believes for phones to actually have an LED. We don't have LED. We just have backlit buttons. I already showed you the toggle layout, the clock. You can change the color of this clock if you want. Like normally, like you wouldn't have AM and PM. You would just have the actual number. But I made sure that I have mine AM and PM style. And I have the uh, alarm icon that shows. And also the battery. You can show the battery text. So if I hit battery text on, you can see right there it says 67%. It's kind of off center, but you can make a center by hitting the second thing. 
I don't know if I can get it that close, but it says 67%. Let me uncheck both of those just because I feel like if you have the, the number battery there, you'll be paranoid all day about what uh what percentage you're at. So I don't like to worry about that. I, I hide that. But I mean, the only the only the other thing I wanted to show you is like the speed of this thing. Like I just touched the app right there. There's my spring pad. Getting out of the spring pad. Um, going over things. Uh, Google Plus is there. Hey, follow me on Google Plus. Um, let's look for the Tech Temple. I do got a Google Plus uh, page. Please add me, and that way you can. That way, if you don't uh, feel like going to YouTube, you can at least get my videos through Google Plus. And I use I use Google Plus a lot, so I think it's a really really nice tool. So go ahead and use that. Um, this clock, I, that's just fancy widgets. I mean, it is nice. Like if you want to just view the time, you want to dim the screen, press it again. If I want to get out of it, I press back. Um, that's nice. This MMS, it does have the option to, uh, let me show you. It does have the option, it does split threads. And a lot of ROMs, like, there's no thread splitting. So if you normally, you won't have this MMS split, MMS counter. You won't have that. So um, it, I didn't have it in this version 14. So what I did have to do, I had to go to another ROM and then put that APK folder of the MMS APK in the right folder. But that way, I was able to split my... Uh, my text. So that way I can do one, two, three without having to it cut me off. That's nice. Uh, and what one other thing I put on here besides the kernel, I put on this uh Tribute J launcher, which is the launcher that um I believe Cyanogen mod is using, Cyanogen mod nine. And like You'll notice some stuff right away, like if you look at the other, uh, it does this because I went to the actual launcher setting, that's why it took a while. But you'll notice this, like when I go to, uh, if you look at the other ice cream, like the normal ice cream sandwich, there's always a persistent search bar right there and I hate it. Like it just takes up screen real estate and I don't like it. So I got rid of that. And I'll show you some more, I mean it's going to load again just because I'm in the launcher settings. On um, the drawer. Join with apps, um, show page indicator, fan indicator. And the home screen, how many home screens do you want? Normally it comes with five. You can go anywhere from one to seven. I'll show you right there. You can go from one to seven. Cancel that. Transition effect. When scrolling home screens, I have a standard. I'll put on tap of this because I don't know what tablet looks like. And it'll be new for both of us. Or for all of us. Um, scroll wallpaper. You can either have the wallpaper... Um, stable and that way when you scroll back and forth it doesn't move or you can have it as it has been up through gingerbread where when you scroll the right and left the wallpaper will move with you and the fade indicator and the show page indicator or the little blue lights I'll show you real quick it's going to take a little bit for it to load because I was just in the app settings alright so let's say alright look at this bar right here you can see it where I'm at on which page you're at so that way you know Oh yeah, you know. Follow me on Twitter at thetechtemple.com. But uh, shameless plug. You can see that, and you also see in the uh, you see how snappy this thing is. Like going between the menus and like going back and forth. Like it's fine. I feel like I'm on a Galaxy Nexus. But what it says, the app indicator on there, you see you see what page I'm on. I got mass apps, so it's kind of nice to know what page I'm on. Doesn't, it doesn't go up and down, but it does go left and right. If you want to get Nova Launcher, I believe Nova Launcher enables you to go up and down like the old Android did. What's also nice about this, I know somebody had asked me, uh, I forget who it was, but they had asked me, does this let you organize your apps? It doesn't. If you hold this, the only thing you can do is uninstall an app info. And it tells you like all the information, like how much it takes up on your system and all that. But what it does do is you can order them by um, by name and install date. So I'll put an install date, it'll rearrange them. The last thing I put on here was Voodoo and Infinity Widgets and all that. So that is nice, but I'll just put it by alphabetical. I mean, you can still get to the marketplace normally, like market loads fast. Um, Bluetooth is very fast. I tried it today. I just I turned my headphones on and right away this thing recognized it after I switched on Bluetooth through here. Like I said, if that's taking too much space up, you just hide it and it goes to normal. But yeah, that's it. Um, camera works. I'll show you the camera real quick. 
take a picture of this book, Ohio State. Here, so you can see it. It doesn't take it quite as fast as uh, the Galaxy Nexus, but I mean, it's pretty fast for me, and, and everything works. Um, if you want to go into the mode, I'll show you the camera settings. Uh, right now, I just switched the video. I don't know why I did that, but there's a video. So, video works. Video has some cool settings. Right there, you can either make um, somebody's face squeeze, make it like they have big eyes, a big mouth, big nose, small eyes. Uh, some reason, but it is a nice, fun feature. And all the settings work on the camera. Let me panorama's there, so switch to panorama, switch camera. Uh, I can switch to the front camera that way you can see me. Hey, there's a front camera, so that works. There's a video. There's a normal camera, and there's panorama. So panorama pretty much is you do like this, and as you do that, uh, it'll stitch your, it'll stitch your photos together real, real nice. And I did do some panorama earlier when I was on campus. I will show you that I did the panorama. Oh. Let me actually find the panorama picture. Right here's video if you want to see what the video is like. The video does work and turn it down. Volume work. And the video is pretty clear. I don't know how it looks like on on an actual computer, but it looks pretty pretty solid right here. Let me go back. I can't find the panorama shot right now, but it does work. But yeah, this is real real speedy ROM. Everything is cool. Um, so go ahead and pick it up. If you got any comments or questions, I got always put them below the video. This is Wise Man White from the Tech Temple. See you guys later. The Tech Temple.